Greetings, travelers. It would appear that some of you want a PvP guide from the definitive source of mediocre Final Fantasy XIV resources. Well, I hate to be the one to tell you this. I don't play Final Fantasy XIV PvP. Ever. That was until I was challenged by one Lucy Pyre to prove what is the superior Final Fantasy race. Cat girls or bunny boys. This had the side effect of me now having PvP unlocked on my alt character. Alright, I have to go to this one and say a pup no longer. Yep, that's right, I'm finally gonna become a, a, a wolf. I don't even fucking know. Anyways, can I teleport to this hellhole? Yes. I think you can. Uh, I can't teleport because I'm not attuned to the Aetherite. Well, son of a bitch. Ah, yes, travel to the wolf's den. You see, it was that easy. Test your skill at PvP. Oh, these buttons all make sense to me. Probably the best button that they have on here is the uh, return button and the teleport button. Those are my favorite ones. Yeah, they fucking co-opt your hotbar and they just turn everything into some fucky-wucky shit that I don't really understand. I also unlocked it on my main as well. Thankfully, my 1v1, no items, jobs only, Wolves Den match ended with my incredibly average victory on stream at twitch.tv slash misshapen chair, where I make average streams now, for the time being. I have successfully defended the cat girls and my virginity. I'd like to thank that extra little bit of pumpkin spice that I snorted before combat. I would also like to thank my ability to read some tooltips and put buttons in places that I expect them to be, making my hotbars even more spread out and even more confusing to the normal viewer. Do I ever plan to play the true, team-based Final Fantasy XIV PvP? No, I absolutely fucking hate all team-based PvP games. I've played League, I've played Overwatch, I've had enough shit-talking from my teammates for an entire lifetime. This is not because I am so good at these games and my teammates are holding me back, it's quite the opposite. I am the one who's holding all of my teammates back from their full potential. I'm kind of like Rock Lee's training weights, except when you take them off there is no tangible benefit. You might be able to extrapolate this information by watching my content, but I am not a competitive person. I used to be, and it made me a much more insufferable and unpleasant individual to meet in real life. Only after screaming for about the 5,000th time at a random match in League of Legends, somehow, I finally remembered that I don't have any fun trying to win. I would like to thank Nekopara for my revelation that there are more important things in life. There isn't anything inherently wrong with being competitive, but it is not something that motivates me in a healthy or productive way. So anyways, PvP is fucking stupid. I played it for about four minutes. Garbage. At this point, I wonder why it takes up space in my video game. I don't play it, so clearly nobody else does. The devs could have been putting time into the real PvP content, like Mahjong, but instead they wasted on this pile of shit. Why does Samurai have a counter animation that looks sick as fuck and we don't get that in PvE? How the fuck do people play this fighting game when there isn't no combo? It's all like rapid beats from Melty Blood. I cannot play a fighting game without a run-up grab mix-up. Maybe we should all play a good fighting game like Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, now available on PC with rollback netcode to be added in this summer. From Software PvP, Dark Souls, Miyazaki, Spirited Away, where the girl's parents are turned into pigs because this entire game mode is made by pigs. Didn't think I could connect all the dots, huh? I didn't even mention PvP players in the hierarchy because it's not real and can't hurt me. But chair, sure, it gives good XP and helps with the event tokens. Yeah, that's really cool, buddy. And Blue Mage helps me digest food. That doesn't even make any sense. You're just speaking words, but they have no meaning. You want a guide? Kill the opponent. Probably group up with your team at some point who's going to refuse to do that. I don't even need to play the mode to know that it's not going to be any different from League of Legends or Overwatch or insert whatever psychologically vindictive experience game you choose to torture yourself with. Now let's get out there and, well, I think I need to play my uh, victory fanfare now. <laughs> <laughs>